this patient was diagnosed with SIBO and leaky gut. Do you use diagnostic imaging to support your analysis? Do you consider the mesenteric blood supply in your analysis? The body has a finite blood supply. Look at the vasodilation of the mesenteric vessels without contrast. This is called portal hypertension, and when it occurs, the blood bypasses the liver. Undigested proteins and other elements go directly into the systemic system. With visceral hyperemia, there is not enough blood for both the gut and the brain. When this occurs, what are the chances of finding neurologic deficits in the brain? This person suffers from pain after eating and has been diagnosed with food sensitivities. Diagnostic imaging reveals a senile pancreas that is autodigesting itself from a lack of stimulation from stomach acid in addition to the vasodilation of the blood supply. Visceral hyperemia has a direct effect on the blood-brain barrier by increasing its permeability. Altered structure causes altered function. Look at the shape of this colon as we go through the slices of this CT scan. Will a vertical stomach alter digestive chemistry and the environment? Altered function causes altered structure. Diagnostic imaging reveals her problems are way beyond SIBO and leaky gut. Wallerian degeneration is a direct result of visceral hyperemia causing neurologic dysfunction in the brain and the peripheral nervous system. The Mastering the Gut program will train you to look at these conditions and give you the necessary tools for organ rehabilitation. Go to MasteringTheGut.com to sign up for your training now.